Good morning everyone! So for today's video I am doing something a little bit different. I've never done anything like this before but I thought it'd be kind of fun and that is unboxing Korean mystery boxes. So I have two different mystery boxes in this Etude House bag. Um, one of them I bought online and then one of them I picked up while I was in Korea a couple weeks ago. So I'll show you guys what I have and then we'll get into it. <laughs> so I picked up this box in Korea. This is from Tony Moly and this is the Hot Lucky box. This is what launched with their Samyang Ramen collection. And essentially this was a free gift if you bought so much of the makeup from that collection. And Side note, I'll tell you guys kind of a little story time. I had the weirdest experience buying this. Now, freebies like this in Korea are not necessarily a new thing. Like, I've gotten pretty good freebies before. I've gotten little cosmetic bags. I've gotten little sample sets. I've gotten really nice freebies. So I picked this up in the Tony Moly in Hongdae, and when I was talking to the sales associate, she was like, oh yeah, you just have to spend 30,000 won worth and out of the Samyang collection. So I was like, okay, that's easy. Like, I'm pretty much gonna buy the whole collection, so. 30,000 won, no problem. So I picked out my products. Unfortunately, they were sold out of some of the pieces, so I bought a couple products to give away to you guys, which I already ran that giveaway and sent those products off. But when I got to the checkout, the lady at the checkout was like, no, you have to spend 50,000 won. The 30,000 won's only for Korean people. I was like, okay, which, to be completely honest, like this is not something I've never heard of. If you're a Korean citizen, obviously you can sign up for like the memberships at the store, like you would like a Sephora VIB or whatever. But I was just a little annoyed because she was like <laughs> about it. <laughs> and I was like, okay, I guess I'll get like a couple nail stickers and lip tints. Like no need to be kind of nasty about it. Um, but yeah, that was kind of weird. So this was a little bit of a hassle to get, but I got it and <laughs> We'll see what's in it. I guess now that I've kind of introduced it, I should just go ahead and open it. So this wasn't anything you could buy by itself. I actually asked her that at the checkout when she told me I had to spend more money. I was like, can I just buy that? Like, I just really want to unbox it for my channel. And she was like, not having anything. Ooh, I'm so excited to open this. I've had this literally for the longest time. So let's open it together. Oh, yay! Okay, cool. Got a little I'm green tea hand cream. Let's smell this, see if this is any good. I can always use hand creams. Mmm, that smells good. It smells like Innisfree. <laughs> I got the Kiss Lover Lip Click, which it's like a really dark brown color, which I can get with. This is like one of those you like click it up. What else do we have? This is the Perfect Lips Flat Bar. Oh, that's kind of cool. So it's like a lipstick, but it's in a shape that's more conducive to applying lipstick on your lips and more accurate. Basically, it's kind of like a lip liner slash lipstick. It's a lot of lip products in here. I got this lipstick. Oh, which is also kind of a different shape, so it's easier to swipe on. And this is in the shade number one. Hmm. Okay. I got the Hug Me Fresh Powder Tissues. These are for um, reducing body odor and keeping the skin dry. So maybe this will go in my gym bag because after spin class, you know you're a little stinky. Okay, and then last but not least, we got the sh eye tone shimmer. So it's just like a little eyeshadow single. So there were six products in here. And yeah, I mean, honestly, that's a pretty good freebie if you were gonna buy the products anyways. I mean, you figure you're getting this on top of the product you already bought, so I, I, mean, I mean, to be completely honest, a lot of these bonus boxes or mystery boxes are probably them getting rid of products they couldn't sell. <laughs> now, the next mystery box I'm gonna be opening is actually one that I got from Etude House. Now, how I found out about this was I'm part of Etude House's mailing list, so they emailed me about these Lucky boxes, <laughs> beauty point week, lucky box. Basically how to get this, I think it was like 20 or 25 bucks. So oops, because I had to spend more money, <laughs> I'll just show you guys really quick what I bought from the Etude House website. Um, I bought th these guys here, which these are new. These are the Play 101 setting powders. There are, I believe, four different kinds, but I got, or maybe there are six, because I have 06 apricot beam. Um, I'll have to look that up. <laughs> should probably know this. But I got 06 Apricot Beam and I also got 02 Banana. So I haven't even looked at these. I have something in my eye. 
So they're just like little, there's powder down here and then a brush. I don't know. I honestly probably would not have been interested in picking this up, but I had to pick up something because I wanted the mystery box. That's how they make their money. Um, I also picked up the Play 101 stick. This isn't new. Um, this is just, I needed a new one. And then I got it in 02 Contour Duo, which I believe is the darkest one. As you could tell, I have <laughs> a little bit more of a tanner complexion. So when it comes to Korean bronzers and contours and foundations, I always have to opt for the darkest. And then I also got this guy here. This is the My Beauty Tools Cuticle Nipper. I don't have one of these. And um, my cuticles be getting out of hand. <laughs> so I decided to pick one of these up. I don't know, I hear you're not supposed to clip your cuticles and then I hear you are and then I hear just push them down. So if you guys know what the actual verdict is, you let me know. So let's get to the box, shall we? I noticed when I got this in the mail, it has Aritam Innisfree Etude House Espoir Ayope Hanyul and Mamond on the side. So I don't know if this is just purely gonna be Etude House products or like a mix of basically all the Amore Pacific brands, but we'll just have to find out. This is so cute. Eee! <laughs> all right, moment of truth. Ooh, look how it opens. <laughs> First I see a box, so I'll take this out. Where are these cotton pads? They must be. There's no nothing on the, yep, they're cotton pads. Just like the little, wow, these are really cheap. They're like fluffing everywhere. Like I can see the cotton puff dust. What else do we have? I see something in bubble wrap. Oh, I already think I have some of these, which to be honest, no surprise there. There is a little palette. This is from the Colorful Drawing drawing, Vermilion drawing. Um, I have this already, so maybe I'll give it away to you guys so I won't open it up. This whole colorful drawing collection was part of their spring collection. I, well, I did put a video out on this collection, so if you wanna hear more about this collection, swatches, the other products that are a part of it, you can check that video out. I'll link it down below, but I believe I put that up back in March or around that time frame. So, part of me is already feeling like this is definitely stuff they're trying to get rid of. <laughs> but we'll see. There is a Dear Darling tint, um, which is an OR203. I'm not a big tint girl, so. And then we have this one, which is the color my brows in natural brown. So that actually I will probably keep because I think that should match my eyebrow color. And I'm in need of some new eyebrow products. I actually really like Etude House eyebrow products. I use one of their Pencils to fill in my eyebrows almost every day. So now I can mascara in my eyebrows. Oh, this is something I do not have. This is the Soon Jung, the pH 5.5 Relief Toner. So I think I will use this because I've never tried anything from this collection and I read all about it online because this is a really good kind of um, skin barrier gentle type of skincare line. Oh, and they ask also, asshole. <laughs> they also included this, which is a little coupon book, the Beauty Point Week. I don't know what this is. <laughs> they just have like little pictures of some of their sheet masks. <laughs> I, I don't know. But that was what was in my box. I guess I got the bottom tier one, so the one that you just get your money's worth out of. Um, so if you guys have gotten these before, if you know someone who's purchased these as well, I'd be curious to know if anyone else has gotten anything worth more than the box, will you pay for the box itself? So let me know in the comment section down below as well as kind of what you thought of this video. I know it is so random and like kind of spur of the moment. I'll link everything down below like I always do. And as always, I hope you guys are happy and healthy and don't forget to rate, comment, subscribe, share with your friends and family, hit that notification bell, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys. Well, that was anticlimactic. I don't know what I was expecting. If I was like expecting to get a completely new product I never heard of. I actually think it'd be cool if they mixed all of these brands together and you got it in a lucky box.